Hi Katrina, I like the way you've been able to get this rich black in the egg drawing for the cast shadow. I do want you to take care and judge how dark a shadow needs to be and whether there could be dark areas in places other than just the area of the cast shadow. For instance, should there be shadow on the underside of the egg carton? I like the way that you shaded the eggs. That's really convincing. You know, my favorite drawing though is the one of the drapery. I really love the way that you've handled this. By the look of it, I'm not sure that it's charcoal. However, the strokes seem very fine for charcoal. I'd like to know more about how you made this. And notice that there was a part of the assignment that was calling for either quick sketches or photos so in different variations on this theme. One thing I really love here is the architecture of the chair juxtaposed with the softness of fabric. Hi Michelle, you have a nice touch here, you know, with your eggs. I wish that they were shaded. That was part of the assignment. I'd like to see how you would go about doing that. Well, this beautiful drawing of the flowers, I think I found that posted in assignment three. I'm not sure what it was for, but I'm glad you're sharing it with us. With your drawing of drapery, I'd like to see a little more care taken with that. And I think you would care more if you found it to be more interesting. For example, what if what if you pinned the curtain back on one side almost as if somebody was peeking through? Hi, Bob. I want to say I think you are getting closer to getting things right with the skin. I wonder whether the brightness or levels settings in Photoshop are not quite right here because we don't see many middle gray colors. Um, also be sure you're scanning in color not in black and white. Um, so let's see the egg drawing is very lovely it's dramatic in that the carton of eggs is seen from an unusual angle it's actually a hard to draw angle and it's also back there in the distance so it looks small. Good job on that. Um, I like these larger eggs in the foreground casting shadows toward us. They're backlit and eggs in egg cups. There's a lot of variety here. I would encourage you to steady your hand and to draw a very geometric silhouette for something like an egg. Now I'm looking to your second drawing and it seems like it's more about the object than the drapery that it sits on. Um, now about that object it's looking a bit like a horizontal egg. Did things get squished accidentally in Photoshop I wonder? Um, when I look at the egg in your photo, it looks like it's oriented vertically, and this one almost looks like it's sitting horizontally. Amanda, this is a nice concept with eggs that are receding into the background in a kind of line, I like the way that they seem to be moving through a tube also. I'm just wondering if this drawing could benefit from a little more TLC. It looks as though you quit a little early on. I like a lot of what's going on in the drapery with the second drawing. I wish though that there were the photos um, that you were asked to present. I didn't see those or maybe they weren't labeled correctly. I'd like you to take a look at the bottom left edge of the container that the fabric's in. Is that corner there perhaps a little bit too pointy? Well, Tom, I declare this is one of the most marvelous egg drawings I've seen. It's really beautiful. You know, not only are the eggs shaded in a very lovely way, but I like the way that the rim of the bowl is casting a shadow onto the egg in the foreground. I'm wondering if there could possibly be 12 eggs inside this bowl. <laughs> now, on the right side, is it possible that the lip of the bowl is a little too thin? It's looking a bit like it's paper thin. And if this was my drawing, I wouldn't let the bowl teeter on the bottom edge of the page. I try to plan the drawing so that there's a little more space underneath the bowl. Now the second drawing is really lovely also. Um, the jar is modeled very well. It looks like it's somewhat reflective. Does it cast a shadow, I wonder? I like the fruits. I like the way that we see the fruits repeated one inside a bowl, one overlapping another. Now, when I get to the point of looking at the drapery, I'm wondering just a little bit if it was sidelined. Um, the most interesting part is the part in the bottom right corner. And I like the way that it kind of mm, frames up the rest of the composition. And curiously, there are some marks for shadowing in the opposite corner at top left. And they kind of create a pair of parentheses mm, between which the rest of the composition exists. 
Why, Mason, it looks to me like you're drawing a small scale given the size of your signature, and you know that would cramp my style. Um, I would say if you do have to draw on this scale, maybe because you only have a scanner and not a camera, um, let the subject fill out the entire page. Let's take a look at the second drawing, for example. You've got the paper oriented horizontally, but would this drawing fit better on a vertical page? Mm. There are nice qualities to both of these. When I take a look at the egg drawing, the plate, is it a cake plate that the eggs are sitting on? Seems a little lopsided. And that's the sort of thing that I think you could practice sketching out ahead of time, maybe even full scale, and then trace lightly with a 2H pencil onto your good drawing paper. Well, Kim, you're just knocking yourself out and making some beautiful work uh, in the process. You know, the eggs are, are quite lovely. One little thing I would refrain from outlining eggs. I see one sort of uh, inside the bowl at bottom right that looks a bit outlined. Although otherwise, I really like the way it's shaded and its neighbor too there at the bottom. Now I'm wondering about the box. I think the perspective of the box could use just a little bit of work or touch up. Um, the drawing of the drape is just beautiful and thank you for supplying the photo. Interestingly, this sort of vase that you've drawn has a slight egg-like shape about it. Well, Joanne, this drawing is really quite lovely. I'd say it just needs a little more time and maybe a few more eggs. My favorite aspects are the subtle sh shading on the rightmost egg and the one at bottom center. I think it's probably possible to use a kneaded eraser that's been um, shaped into a point to adjust the shapes of the shadows and control the value there. Hi Lisa, I can see that you're just diving into working with the charcoal and it does take a little time to get used to. I know, you know, charcoal is going to make your fingers black and for some people that's uncomfortable and not really what you're used to, but charcoal can yield some really beautiful drawings. Now the first thing I'd like to say is that the eggs in the foreground could possibly have silhouettes that are more geometric or symmetrical. Um, also, it looks like the egg carton is propped up on an egg in the rear. Is that correct? I'm not really sure. I'm also thinking that the underside of the egg carton would be in shadow. Now, for your drapery drawing, golly, I would really like to see a photo here. Uh, everybody was asked to submit either sketches or photos, which was more likely. Well, hi, Chris. I really enjoy your very subtle mode of shadowing. I like to see how the light lands on the left side of that egg in the foreground, for instance, and the shadow that it casts on the ground is very nice. I'm wondering about that egg in the center. I'm trying to figure out which way it points. And also, could there be more eggs? The assignment's calling for 12. I mean, you know, it's a sort of style you're developing here. I can see from drawing to drawing um, a, a certain quality that is very particular to you. So the first thing I'm thinking about with egg drawing is, I wonder if this is a plate of eggs sitting on a table, for example. It surely be great to see just a little bit of value for the tabletop. You know, your shading is so careful. I'm wondering if it's all done with a charcoal pencil used with a very, very light touch. I would advocate for involving um, vine charcoal in the making of your drawing because that's a way where you can fill in values very rapidly, for instance, the background. Um, I would set up a situation where the lighting was extreme, where the light and shadow pattern was obvious. I'm wondering why the value of this plate is kind of the same all the way around, and do the eggs cast shadows onto the plate at all? Now, um, the soft quality of your drape in, in the second drawing is very nice, I like the ribbon too, and that's actually very much like fabric, right? A ribbon would be. Um, part of the idea here in using toys is how do you take those bright colors and translate them into a black and white drawing successfully? I think you've done it.